McCarthy has been writing poetry seriously for three years, but his first original poem was written in fourth grade. His poems often relate people and personalities to natural phenomena. His favorite old poet is William Blake, and his favorite new poet is Mary Oliver. Peter is a student at Cambridge High School. Peter. Hi. Um, so yeah, when I received an email saying write a brief biography, I wrote briefly. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'll just read. Um, my first poem that I'm going to read is titled Eight Hyphen One Five Nine. It was um, a room number of mine in which I stayed in a hotel for a competitive debate team for the school. It's called Model United Nations, and we propose solutions to current global issues such as human trafficking and drug crimes and nuclear warfare, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Things we don't like to talk about in happy places. So this is it. 8-159. The hotel bed sheets are crisp as I listen to him speak. His voice rumbles the way you'd assume an avalanche does, low and raw. The content of our conversation is airy, changing phases like water in a cloud, solid, liquid, and gas. No lights on as he tells me of his life. I have to imagine the facial expressions. So I imagine a new flower of an apple tree exposing itself to the world without fear, yet still uncertain and holding on. I can tell he's choosing his, world, his words carefully, like an artist with a predestined painting, dancing around the secrets like a hummingbird. At midnight, he started the conversation. He said he just wanted to talk. So I let him talk, and I listened. Um, I knew a girl who died due to anorexia. Um, she went um, about six weeks without eating anything, and her heart quit. Um, my mom struggled with anorexia. I'm recovering. Um, it's really something that it's a dark place in your head so I wrote this poem anorexia I see you I know you I know the look of a girl who doesn't eat or sleep I know the meaning of the pale skin of the long and drawn face I know what made the light leave your eyes I know you I see you
He is everything that reminds me of home. <laughs> tormenta means storm in Spanish, la tormenta. Um, it's, this is a poem that I wrote for my best friend. She's um, On the outside, she's very stoic and chooses her words carefully and she's very poised. And, but, but I know her very well and I know that she's actually really impulsive and kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Tormenta, you are a tempest. You are winds that hail from heaven. You are the rains of God and the heat of the driest deserts. You are a tornado ripping through the streets. You are the destructiveness of Katrina. You are incapable of being harnessed. You are nothing to be tamed. You are a tempest. I really like short poetry. I just I write like sentence long poems. Um, this one is called Whim Poem. This feeling in my chest reminds me of losing a friend. Is it love? It is love. How are two completely different realities so similar? While I was in Chicago for the um, Model United Nations trip, the inspiration for the first poem and this poem, I was rooming with two people that I really didn't know and that I wasn't really comfortable speaking with. Um, but for some reason, they trusted me. And Brennan, one of my roommates, um, 8-159 is um, we, we just spoke for like three hours about his life and about my life and I really just listened to him but um, the next day from like 11 to 3 a.m. Um, Jonathan who who is redheaded um, gave me a little bit of insight into into his life and into um, into the struggles that he faces at home ginger red hair. 